Hello everyone, time for another Star Citizen video. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, Drake Herald. So sit back, relax and enjoy. As some of you already know, Drake is my least favorite manufacturer in Star Citizen. In a way, probably because here in Serbia we have something like Drake in real life. It's called Zastava, which means flag, and its most recognizable product is Yugo. A car that was given for free in the United States when you buy a under quotation real car. Practice on your Yugo before you get a chance to wreck the car you paid for. They even had our own version of Yugo Herald. I do love Yugo, but I can't say I feel the same for Drake. However, one of my jobs was on the set of a Russian TV show that will remain nameless for a personal reason and I was asked if I can make a functional amateur hacking van. For this occasion I got a team of four people, one of them being my own dad, and yes, Czech's dad is in this video, kind of. And I had a complete freedom except for two things. A van has to be a Mercedes Vito that they brought to the garage, and everything we do has to be removable because the van was rented. I can tell you I accepted the job right away, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. We also got paid pretty well, and the production was happy with our version of Ninja Turtles when... Um, okay, scratch that last one. Okay, back to Herald now. As you might know, this ship is not obtainable through the store as a standalone ship. However, if you have Mercury Star Runner in your hangar for a few more days, you got lease on Freelancer and Herald. This is actually how I got it and we'll lose it in a couple of days since MSR is on PTS as we speak. Herald itself is a very interesting ship, a very small, very fast, stream room with a bed and a toilet attached to a pair of engines strong enough to move Caterpillar probably. It was very surprising to me when I first spawned it some time ago that this little ship has very interesting interior. I was expecting a useless single-seater cockpit and nothing more. While it's still useless, her purpose and design are actually very interesting and if it wasn't Drake's ship, I would probably make sure I own one. On the side of the ship there are data banks to store, well, data, uh, which should be tradable later on in the game. With its little station inside, I would assume that there will be a mini game where you can intercept data stream and store it in ship's internal data banks. Then use this little ship's massive engines to bring it to the bad guys before anyone figures out what happened. Unfortunately, however, we're coming off, in my opinion, one of the best looking ships in the worst, Star Runner. This role got its main actor. And many would wonder why in the world would someone use Herald instead? Well, as we already know, size in the worlds will matter, and a lot, and probably would the price as well. Herald is tiny fast, difficult to spot and probably won't have too much trouble leaving you in a pile of space dust once the throttle is all the way up. And just like Hugo, you will be able to buy it for extremely low price compared to her much bigger and fancier Crusader relative. And I damn sure hope you will love her more than anything in the world because if they catch you with her in crime and open fire, she will keep you warm in a ball of flame since pilots' breakups with Drake ships always end up the same way, if you know what I mean. All jokes aside, this is one of the most unique ships in our game and I'm sure it will be entry-level option for anyone who is interested in data running. Its low price and unique design are most certainly a big plus for many future hackers. I like Hugo more than Drake, but I would rather live in Herald, it at least has a bed. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy, take care, I'll see you around.